then over the last few weeks with all of the super fast times we've been seeing, I'm feeling a little bit like we're back in 2019 talking about shoes again. Mm -hmm. Do you have any thoughts on the sort of resurgent super shoe debate and can you tell us what shoes you're wearing? Yeah, um, well I'm wearing the Ra uh, Hoka Rakan X2, um, which is a great shoe. I'd consider it Hoka's first actual super shoe. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to race in them because I haven't raced in like a true super shoe yet, okay. um, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I do think that you're right. I think that we have seen kind of a little bit of an upspike in times of performances, and I think that's somewhat more, you know, technology advancing again, just a, just a tick. Um, and it is what it is. You know, I think that this is something that we've kind of set upon ourselves in the sport and just kind of have to ride the wave, and hopefully you're on top of that wave. So this is your debut in, in the Hoka Super Shoes? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, in the marathon, yes. In the marathon, yes. Yeah. And first time you've worn Super Shoes in any marathon? Yeah, I mean, Hoka's had, like, carbon-plated shoes, but they didn't have the Kiva foam in them, and I think that that's really the, you know, the key to the Super Shoe. So, yeah, this is the first shoe that they've had that. Have you been training much in the Super Shoes, or...? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's the benefit to the Super Shoes, right? I, mean, I know there's some people out there, team, some of my teammates included, that are like, um, you know, I just want to save them for race day so that I feel really good, but part of the Super Shoe is wearing them so that you can feel fresh, you know, the day after a big workout, and you don't have all that wear and tear on your body, you can go into another session feeling really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely util utilizing that. Can you notice a difference in the bone, like you can, you can tell? Oh, for sure. Yeah, this, this is the first shoe that I've put on where I'm like, this is it. <laughs> you know, because I hadn't tried anything else. You know, I've been with Hoka since 2015. Um, so that was my first true experience, putting on a shoe where I'm like, huh. <laughs> and this is what it is. In terms of just recovery specifically, how does it help? I mean, do you feel more rested training in them? I think that my body's pretty callous, honestly. <laughs> um, you know, I've been doing this a long time, so I think that it's a little bit harder for me to notice, but I'm sure, you know, it'd be hard to hard to think that it's not. <laughs> yeah. Do you, tra do you train in them, like, for all your hard workouts too? Or like I do most of my hard workouts in them, yeah. There's occasions where I'll maybe wear something like the Mach X, which is... Um, it's not a carbon plate, it's a plastic plate that they have in there, um, but I think it's the same foam, and sometimes I'll do that for shorter stuff. Yeah, what about like a 10 mile training run or something? Just a normal, normal run? run. Oh, I'll wear my Clifton's. Yeah. And you, looking back, do you feel like you were at a disadvantage, like 2020 trials? Or? Absolutely. I mean... <laughs> Did you realize it at the time? Um, I think that we all kind of knew it, but you know, we did what we could. I mean, Alakine won the trials. Right. <laughs> so it's not it's not really an excuse per se, but you know, it definitely was something where I'm like, okay, well, 21, I was here at this race and I lost, I was fifth or sixth by one second. And I'm like, there was a second in those shoes. <laughs> you know, was it fair though? What? Is it fair? Is it fair to... You think it was fair, sort of the situation? Like they unleashed these shoes, one brand had them. I mean, it, it is what it is, and I think that, you know, every company's done a good job of catching up, and it just took some a little bit longer to, to do it. And I think Hope has done a great job of getting there. So we're there, and we're ready to, you know, hopefully showcase them. Did the athletes have much say in, like, Hope footwear tech? And yeah, yeah. No, they were really inclusive in, with us as as a team. Um, they've always been. I mean, I've been there since the very beginning and when they didn't even have a flat. <laughs> they were shaving down shoes for us. Um, so yeah, they've, we've been along for kind of the whole entire ride and just kind of, you know, patiently waiting. Been patiently waiting. I was just ask, were you surprised to see Hoka kind of like cross the line into like daily life, you know, like nurses wearing them, like that kind of stuff? Like, what's it been like to see the brand kind of explode? Since it's been, been cool. Yeah, it's been really, really cool. And it's been great for kind of us as athletes. Um, they're everywhere now. You know, they, they started out and they were these huge shoes that, you know, were only being worn by trail runners. And then now it was like slowly filtered into like marathoners and everyday runners. And then now it's like everyday life and it's like a style thing. And you're like, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, walking here, I walked by 